and good Friday evening. If you've passed through Park Slope lately, you may have seen the pickets outside St. Savior's Catholic Church and wondered what it was all about. Well, they are parents and parishioners that are protesting what they're calling the unjust firing of the school's principal. That's right, and the pastor said that he'd simply decided not to renew that principal's contract. Well, that explanation, though, wasn't enough for some parents who have now taken matters into their own hands. Our Natalia Ortiz headed to the church to find out more. The number of thriving students at St. Savior Elementary School, 405. Years of dedicated leadership, 25 plus. Total years spent enriching the lives of others as an educator, 40. Having James Flanagan as our principal is priceless. What you just heard is not a MasterCard commercial. It's Becky McClintock speaking about James Flanagan, the school's principal, who she and other parents claim was let go unjustly. We're here to protest the firing of our um, principal of 26 years at St. Xavier Elementary School. We feel like he wasn't given due process. After a two-month-long string of protests, parents of children at St. Xavier Elementary are still compelled to march in support of their principal. In a phone interview, Flanagan stated, the school is a place where children learn and know they're loved. That's the atmosphere I've created. Protesters agree and say they want answers. We've never been given an explanation why Father Murphy has decided not to renew his contract. Well, Father Murphy says he had given an explanation in a six-page document. What about that? Well, again, you know, this was an issue I had with Father Murphy in the very beginning. From the limited portions of the six pages that have been made public, there doesn't seem to be much other than trying to build a case for why you can fire someone for cause, and I just don't think there's any cause there. Parents say the document was given to Bishops DiMarzio and Caggiano, but has not been made public in its entirety. According to reports, Murphy wrote he was upset he was asked to pay to attend a school fundraising gala two years ago and added he should have been extended a personal invitation instead. Even Father Murphy said it in the paper. It wasn't about his performance as an educator. You know, it really was about some petty things. But others say substantive issues like tuition hikes and accusations of cronyism also factor into the debate. When we asked Father Murphy for his comments, he said, we don't publicly discuss our employee's situation. That's all I can say. These parents say he's been reluctant to openly discuss the issue with them as well. I asked Father Murphy that week, um, you know, will you meet with the school board? And he said no. I said, will you meet with the parents on the whole? And he said no. But protesters are not taking no for an answer. This has been my parish my whole life. I was baptized here. My mother was baptized here. I mean, this, this parish means everything to us. And Father Murphy's a good person. We just think he made a big mistake. Father Kieran Harrington, the vicar of communications for the diocese, says, the pastor is the final authority, and if he does not want to speak well, I will neither defend nor accuse the pastor. I'm still confident that, given what's transpired here, that the bishops will see that things need to happen here and things need to change and will intervene. I'm hopeful. I mean, it's, I have my faith. I have my faith in God. I have my faith in the church. And I have my faith in the bishops, so hopefully that'll come out. He also reminds people that religion should play a significant role, even in disagreements such as this one. Whatever personality differences they may have had should have been resolved. This is, after all, a Catholic school, a Catholic parish, uh, a Catholic church, and we, this is what we're supposed to be about. If this happened to Father Murphy, I would be out here for him. You know what I mean? I'm an ethical person. I, I believe in that. No one should go out like this. How much longer would you be willing to come out and protest? I still have a lot of fight in me. I mean, as long as I need to be out here, this is for me, this is for my wife, it's her parish and it's birth, it's for my children, it's for my school, it's for my parish, and there's a lot of fight left in me. Well, of course, there are two sides to every story, and we wanted to hear what others had to say about the dismissal of James Flanagan. That's right. So in preparing this story, we contacted the diocese spokesman, the pastor, and the school superintendent. We invited them all here to discuss the situation at St. Saviors, and all declined. Well, stay with us. We have more of the day's news straight ahead.